Hi, so now we're going to tell you a bit about D3T and what we do and about how Eleanor and I got into the games industry as artists. So D3T is an award-winning co-development studio delivering work for hire video game development services to AAA clients. This means that we work with some of the biggest game developers and publishers in the world, working on a wide variety of genres of games with all different art styles, meaning that our artists are always learning and being challenged and get to work alongside some of the best artists anywhere. We are based in Darsbury, which is near Runcorn, halfway between Liverpool and Manchester. We have just over 110 staff and the departments are art, animation, design, engineering, audio, production and QA. And just to note, we won Best Places to Work in 2020 and we've won it every town we've ever entered. It's a really great award because it's actually voted for by the staff, so it means that they really love working with us. And these are just some of our amazing clients that we get to work alongside. So just to mention a few, we have, we have remastered Mafia 2 2K, as well as Shenmue 1 and 2 with Sega, and even helped work on The Witcher 3, the CG Project Red. And these are some of our games. Just, shows, just showing some of our game artwork that we've been lucky enough to work on. As you can see, there is a lot of variety. So I'm Eleanor and I'm an associate artist here at D3T. So I was quite unsure about what to do after A-levels, but I knew that I wanted to do, go into art. So I went and did an art foundation at college. So whilst I was there, I discovered game art courses at university and thought they sounded really fun. So I asked my college tutor for advice uh, and she said that my portfolio wasn't quite suitable as it was a fine art portfolio. Uh, that wasn't the case though, as I then got in contact with a game art tutor from Futureworks University in Manchester, who looked at my portfolio and said it was actually perfect to apply with uh, because it's the art fundamentals that they look at the most. So I then put my work on a free portfolio making website called Carbon Made, which you can see at the bottom left. Uh, and applied for the course, getting accepted soon after. So I chose to specialise in 3D environment art and prop art at uni, and then graduated this year with a first class degree in game art. Uh, soon after that, I emailed D3T, a speculative 3D artist application, and had an interview about a week later. I've been there for about four months now, and I'm really enjoying it so far. Hi, and I'm Louise, I'm the art manager at D3T. So I did A-level art, then an art foundation course, and then a degree in fine art. I then uh, went and worked as a scenic artist working in film, TV, and theatre doing, um, for doing scenic art and prop making for 10 years. Um, I then decided I wanted to change in career, and the way I managed to do it was to be lucky enough to get onto an MA in digital games. This was a postgraduate uh, one-year full-time course at John Moore's University in Liverpool. Straight away after that, I managed to get a job at Acclaim Studios, which was great. I then worked at TT Games and I'm now at D3T. So I've worked in the industry for 19 years and worked on 17 published titles so far um, and various roles from artist, cutscene artist, senior artist, lead artist and art manager. In the next video, we will tell you all about the different kinds of roles for an artist in the games industry. You'll be surprised by the variety of artwork that goes into making a game.